if I'm wanting to draw a fairly complex scene in a short period of time, say 15 minutes, so it's going to be a brisk gestural style of drawing, how should I be thinking? Where do I focus my energy and effort and attention and time to get maximum impact, to get maximum impact with my finished drawing, but also managing my line work so that some parts don't look very carefully done and labored and other parts look a lot faster, more gestural. How do I still have an overall unity in what I do? For me, the most important thing is to focus still on getting these perspective angles accurate and then doing my best to get the proportions of the fundamental shapes correct. Because if I get these lines correct, as well as the relative proportion of things such as the window to the pillar to the door, then the line work in a somewhat more relaxed style that we've used to add all the details will still have a reassuring reality about it. Sometimes when I look at brisk gestural drawings, it's almost as if the artist thought quick and gestural was the same as careless. I still should never go faster than I'm able to control. However, in order to push myself, I'm going to aim to finish this in 15 minutes or less. And if there are a few points where I have to stop, you'll see me stopping the timer as well as the drawing. So with that framework in mind, I'm going to seek to draw this Berlin entranceway. And then at the end, we'll have a quick look at some of the choices I made and see how effective they are. I'm going to start, I think fairly obviously with this column, then I'm going to move across and get this perspective and this perspective angle correct. And from there, I think it's going to be easier to get these other lines done. Now, because I'm fairly close and it's an extreme perspective angle, the lens distortion is quite strong here. So I think I'm going to lessen it. I don't want it to be so. It looks great in a photo, but it sometimes doesn't look as great in life. Particularly this line here, I think I'm going to want to pull these angles back to a little more how they would look in life. Let's go. Okay, I just paused for a minute. So I'm five minutes in. I'm actually a third of my time through. So I really have to pick up the pace. As you can see, I've tried not to get bogged down in this sort of detail because I'm hoping that once the overall shapes are done and the proportions are more or less right, I can do that quickly. But what I need to do now is I think to push very quickly and get this part finished and then move across here at least a little bit further and then go up. Now in gestural drawing, drawing the shadows and defining those is often a faster way to establish a sense of detail than trying to draw the actual outlines of the detail. So I, I suppose I now want to get this bit and this column done and put onto the edge there and to make sure the perspective from here to here is accurate. <laughs> it's a frantic pace in my head, I tell you. Let's go. I just saw that two thirds of my time is gone. Changing the lens distortion does change some of the proportions for me. Yeah, I'm not worrying about that too much at this point. I really have to pick up the pace now to get something that feels finished in the next four and a quarter minutes. Okay, let's see how it goes.
I feel like I'm in a quiz game. Stop the clock. I'm just catching my breath in all honesty. Just working out where I'm going to put this last minute and a half. And I guess it's going to be establishing here in some way. So let's go. There we have it. Now, you probably noticed that I forgot to actually reset the clock when I started that last burst. So I did get, I don't know, about a minute and a half, I think, extra, but I just took it. As someone who loves to draw the detail, I do find it very frustrating to have to really just go for the bigger picture. But in terms of my strategy, but in terms of my strategy of working at getting the perspective angles correct, I'm happy with how that worked out. And I think just to see how we can give a little more form to this, given that there really wasn't time for any hatching. So I'm going to give myself a further three minutes just to put a little bit of tone with sketch marker on this. So I'm going to go to 18 minutes now with the tone. An 18 minute quick gestural drawing. What do you think? I even replicated the real life situation of our markers running dry of ink at just the wrong moment. I always like to critique my work in some way when I finish because it gives me a focus for next time I draw. What am I happy with? What can I do better next time? I'm happy with the sense of unity in the line work. I feel like it was well and truly all done at the same brisk pace. I'm happy with my perspective angles here, but when I look at this upper perspective angle, it should be this. And you can see how far off mine is. These lines should have been coming down here. And while this doesn't look obviously wrong, I don't think, it would have created a much greater sense of visual drama if this line had been steeper and it would have given us the sense of looking up into this window space a little more dramatically. The other thing that annoys me is that while I was putting so much focus on these lines and not enough on this one, the vertical lines here ended up drifting slightly off center, unfortunately to the left. So they're the two mental notes I've made for next time I do a quick drawing. Doing this sort of drawing from a reference photo, I personally feel is great preparation for doing some great location sketching when the opportunity presents itself. I actually drew the ruins of the Klosterkirche across the road from here on our last afternoon on a trip in Berlin. And these are the shadows of the setting sun. I thought this was an amazing entranceway, particularly from this angle. And I've really enjoyed having the chance just to observe it again for this time. So why don't you give yourself a 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minute gestural drawing challenge and see how much you can capture the scene when you push yourself to draw lines with a little more risk as it can often produce a surprisingly pleasing result. I'm Stephen Travers. I hope you found this fun. I hope you give it a go yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye.